The Diamond Match Company has its roots in several 19th century companies. In the early 1850s, Edward Tatnell of Wilmington, Delaware was given an English recipe for making matches by a business acquaintance, William R. Smith. In 1853, Tatnell attempted to turn the recipe into a business at Market Street Bridge over Brandywine Creek in Wilmington. The first matches ignited with the slightest friction, a problem Tatnell solved by reducing the phosphorus content by 25%. Topic company background In the next few years, Tatnell was joined by a young Englishman, Henry Courtry, who was an experienced matchmaker, and who changed his name to Courtney. During a business depression in 1857, Tatnell closed his plant, but Courtney continued to experiment with improvements to the safety and quality of his own matches. In 1860, William H. Swift joined Tatnell's firm to provide clerical and financial services. Though Swift saw potential in Courtney's innovations, Tatnell felt he had spent enough on the match business and turned the business over to Courtney and Swift for nothing. In 1861, the two of them created the Swift and Courtney Company. They called their new matches Diamond State Parlor Matches, using one of the popular nicknames for the state of Delaware. Demand during the Civil War created a large and growing market for Swift and Courtney matches. In order to meet an expanding need for production even after the Civil War, the company merged with Beecher and Sons of New Haven, Connecticut in 1870 to create the Swift and Courtney and Beecher Company. Incorporated in Connecticut, manufacturing remained in Wilmington, Delaware. Later in 1870, the company purchased the match business of Thomas Allen and Company of St. Louis, Missouri. In 1872, they bought McGigan and Daly of Philadelphia, and made contracts with Joseph Loehi of New York City and Charles Bush of Trenton, New Jersey. In 1880, everything was sold to the Barber Match Company of Akron, Ohio, founded by O.C. Barber. Barber renamed the company after the established trade name of its product, creating the Diamond Match Company. Following the Panic of 1893, Barber moved the Diamond Match Company factory in Akron to the adjacent town of his own creation, Barberton in an effort to revive the town's flagging economy. He turned the abandoned Akron Match Factory into a rubber products factory see Diamond Rubber Company. The Diamond Match Company was the largest manufacturer of matches in the United States in the late 19th century. It became a part of the Kruger concern in 1932, when Eva Kruger took control of more than 52% of the shares. The Diamond Match Company operated plants at Barberton, Ohio, Wilmington, Delaware now located in the East Brandywine Historic District, Barber, California later Chico, and Cloquet, Minnesota. Diamond was purchased by Jardin in 2003, and has been owned by Newell Brands since Newell Rubbermaid's acquisition of the company in a merger in 2016. In 2017, Newell sold Diamond except the cutlery line to Royal Oak Enterprises. In the 21st century, Diamond remains America's leading producer of matches, producing some 12 billion a year. It also produces plastic cutlery and other wood products. Topic: <laughs> California Railroads. The Diamond Match Company built a wood processing mill in 1902 at Sterling City, California. A 42-mile standard gauge railroad was built from Sterling City to their manufacturing plant in Chico for operation by Southern Pacific, and Diamond Match Company also built and operated meter gauge railway branches to bring logs into Sterling City from surrounding forests. 
The company became a pioneering user of treated railroad ties by building a tie manufacturing plant at Stirling City. Later, logging branches were built to standard gauge, and the company was operating three Lima locomotive works Shea locomotives and one built by Willamette Iron and Steel Works when the logging branches were abandoned in 1952. Diamond Match Company also built an electrified tram line to transport employees to and from work. The Chico Electric Railway running along 9th Street and Main Street began operations in 1904, and became the northern terminus of the Sacramento Northern Railway in 1906. 